Welcome to this video about updating a specific component in Blazor. The title uh, is very abstract and uh, there is a high possibility that you uh, don't know exactly what I'm going to talk about, therefore I'm just starting. Uh, if here we have uh, an index component and in this index component we want to show, uh, let's just say, 80, uh, 80 child components of the type uh, component, and these child components, uh, they just consist of a div um, yeah, with, with some green styling. Uh, let's just make them uh, small and display inline block so that they stack up uh, like, yeah. And uh, we here want to display their ID and therefore we here have to define parameter, a property of type int and call it ID. Now, here in this index component, we want to display, uh, let's just say, yeah, uh, 80 of them. So for each, Here we are just generating the numbers from uh, uh, yeah, 1 to 80, and then here displaying the component, uh, set its parameter ID to item. Now I'll just quickly show you what you have, and then I show you what I want to achieve. Okay, now let's say I want to uh, invoke a method on exactly this component with ID of 70. Now, how are we going to do this? What you could do is here in this loop, check if the iteration variable is uh, equal 70 and then make the styling, but I want to invoke a special method on that, on, on this component. So therefore I'm going to create a container which will act a bit uh, like a mediator between uh, these two components, uh, with the two components, I mean index and component, and in the counter and the container uh, class, I'm defining a new class, so like a nest class, and call it the index event orgs. This class is extending the event org space class. And just as one property again with a uh, an integer, and I call it uh, yeah, the ID. Now here in this class we also define an event of type event handler. And now, as you have may have guessed, I'm passing it the index, index event orgs. Call it change event. And then here I I'm also. Uh, creating a, a field of type index event orgs. I call it current uh, event orgs and just uh, make a field initializer here. Uh, so uh, what's an event handler? An event handler is like a delegate that has the first parameter of type object and the second one uh, with this generic type. In this case, it's, it's index event orgs, uh, which is, yeah, which, uh, is extending the event org space class and it's just one property in it. Now in here we also have to define a method to invoke this event, call it invoke. I just make a check if the, the current event orgs is not null. Then here if the Elvis operator checking if change event is not null and if it's not null, here I have to pass the object, so just this, and the index event orgs will be the current event orgs. Now, uh, this method, uh, the, the goal is that the component can subscribe to this event here, and the index can trigger the event. And because we have here defined the index event orgs, they will get passed into the event that we define in the component, and because we have a property of, of a type int with, with the name ID, we can here, of course, we first have to, to inject it here 
over the, the dependency injection. So um, inject container container now. Or initialized in here we subscribe to the event. Now here are two parameters, first the object, second one the arguments. And then we check if, if arguments ID equals this ID, then we are going to uh, increment the ID by, let's just say 100. Then I have to call status changed. So, uh, and this, uh, this like event, we define them for all the components, but of course, only the component with the matching ID will, will update itself. So uh, for this to work, we also here have to register it as a, as a service of lifetime scope. So every request gets a new one. And then, oh, no. And then in the index component, we also have to inject it so that we can uh, here uh, have an input field, input type number, Just style it a bit, and then I'm binding this to the container current or current event args dot id. And now we have also to define a, a, a button so that we can invoke it. Uh, like update so here we're just displaying the the number of the component that we will update and when we click this button we will call uh, invoke on, on the container object so uh, let's have a look So now we have updated uh, the component with, with ID9. Yeah, you get the idea. We can update them as such. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.